on MPH TV. My name is Doris. And my name is Nico. And today is September 18th and it's a sixth day. Everybody rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag in the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. WMPH After School Radio Club is moving to Mondays. Mr. Winstergrad wants everyone to know that today is the first day that WMPH After School Radio Club will have their first meeting in Mr. Winstergrad's room. So everybody come out. The Great Straight Alliance will be having their first meeting in room one on tomorrow, actually. They will be meeting the first and third Tuesday of each month. Everybody is welcome to join. Any questions, ask Ms. Olsen, located in room one. Save $15 on the yearbook by purchasing it by October 1st. You can give $60 cash or check to Ms. McKnight in the library. Juniors and seniors, colleges are now visiting MPHS. You can sign up in the library today. Towson is coming, Wilmington University is coming the 20th, and Lincoln is coming on the 22nd. So everybody look out for that. Any girls interested in being a part of a club that is empowering, motivating, and inspiring, then they should come out and attend the Girls Empowered Interest Meeting in room 215 on Wednesday, October 4th at 2.30 p.m. See Ms. Pritchett with any questions. That actually sounds very, very convincing. Seniors, if you did not take your senior portraits, please go to Barksdale website and register for pictures. September 22nd and 29th are the final days. See Mrs. McKnight if you have any questions, and I suggest you do that, because I don't think you want last year's picture to be your senior picture, if you didn't like it. There will be an interest meeting for the MPHS mock trial competition team on Wednesday, well, this Wednesday, at 2.30 p.m. in room 204. If you are interested in joining the team or finding out more, please plan to attend and everyone is welcome. Attention all seniors, this is the last week to turn in your order short forms. These are the t-shirts that you will wear for your class picture, so don't miss out. Also, homecoming and prom interest meetings after school today in room 216, so make sure you come out because you don't want a crappy homecoming. Make sure you put in all of your ideas. And also, thank you very much to everybody that came to the KBG meeting. Um, to everybody that came, make sure that you finish filling out your, um, your permission slip for the Rehoboth Beach trip. Facts. Now over to Annalise with the weather. Hey guys, it's Annalise with the weather. Today seems pretty nice. Mostly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 67. I can't believe it's almost fall. Hopefully the temperatures start dropping soon. Back to you, Nico and Doris. I'm actually pretty happy it's fall because, you know, my birthday's coming or whatever. But, you know, here's Ephesia with your lunch. Hey guys, it's Ephesia here at your lunch, and today is Meatless Monday. So today for lunch, you can have flatbread and cheese on flatbread, or you can have homemade pizza, cheese pizza, of course, with apples, and that's about it. I'm Ephesia, and that's today, whooping up for lunch. Back to Nico and Doris. Thank you very much, Ephesia. Meatless Monday. I hear that all the time, yet I still see meat in the cafeteria, but y'all ain't hear that from me. Anyway, over to Leo with the sports. Hey guys, it's Leo back at it again with the sports. Over the weekend, the football team had a blowout victory of 42-0 home against Dickinson. Girls volleyball had a game Friday, and they won 3-0 away against Del Castle. This week, though, the girls volleyball team has a game Monday against AI. The boys soccer team has two away games this week, one against 
one Tuesday against McCain and one Friday against MOT. Field Hockey also has two games this week. Tuesday, they have an away game against AI and Friday home against MOT. Girls Volleyball has a game at Newark on Friday, and the football team has yet another home game this Saturday against Sussex. For more information about sports, be sure to go to GreenKnightSports.com, and if you can't make it to the game, be sure to watch on MPH TV or listen on Super 91.7 WMPH. But that's all for the people. But for all the people going to the football game, I will see you there. Back to Dorsey Nico. I know everybody here loves, well, most of us love coming to the football games, but everybody make sure that you support every other sport here at Mount Pleasant High School because they work just as hard. Now here's Tyler with your real news. Hey guys, it's Tyler here with the real news. This weekend, protests continued in St. Louis um, following the acquittal of former officer Jason Stockley of murder charges in the shooting of 24-year-old black motorist Anthony Lamar Smith back in 2011. The judge's ruling of former officer Stokely acquittal in, um, acted in self-defense, prompting protests in St. Louis that started on Saturday and that um, began peaceful but eventually turned into much more later on that evening. Let's hope this all comes to a peaceful resolution and that justice is served. That's all for today and it's Tyler keeping it real. Back to Nico and Doris. Thank you very much, Tyler. Well, that wraps up today's morning announcements here on MPH TV. <laughs> I'm Nico. And I'm Doris. You can find MPH TV on YouTube. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so whenever we come out with some new content, you'll be able to see it. Thank you. Have an amazing day. And don't forget to show Mount Pride. Bye-bye. Peace.